Hello, everyone. Um, so we're doing a, a lab with yeast, just like the stuff that you'd have in your kitchen for if you're making bread. And, um, and I'll just walk you through it. So first, you're going to make a copy of this document and put your name in the title so that you can submit it. And I know who it's coming from in Schoology. Um, then you're going to read about yeast so you need a little bit of background information and i've got some easy articles for you from um like cooking websites and they're actually pretty awesome in terms of what yeast needs like the temperature that it likes best uh to ferment at and the types of sugars that it likes to eat um and then i have a compilation of uh articles in this medium level read uh, it talks a little bit about, more about yeast fermentation and what that is. And then I've got a harder read from yeastgenome.org. You're welcome to, to browse all of these. Um, but as long as you look at a couple, I think you'll, you'll be able to get some ideas generated for your lab. So the next step is to brainstorm some questions about yeast. And this is a really, really, really fun part. Um, my example here is with different kinds of sugars, like fructose versus glucose, affect the rate of germination. And I've done this lab with students, and they come up with really, really, really cool questions. So I don't necessarily want to be a spoiler. Um, but here are some examples of questions that people have asked in the past. Okay, um, and then you're going to pick one of your questions and a de design an experiment. So this is not meant to take you the entire day. I mean, I imagine this will take you an hour uh, from start to finish, and so it doesn't have to be perfect. This is really just about like getting, getting, getting the toes in the water and the shallow end of the pool, kind of testing out the the science realm if it's been a while especially so um you'll want to ask yourself some questions like how you how are you going to compare your experimental variable so say like the kind of sugar um to some kind of control if you're able to do that what will that control be how are you going to measure the yeast response and this has been really creative again people brainstorm really cool ideas for how to measure uh yeast fermentation like one time somebody measured the bubbles, like the number of bubbles in a pancake as it was cooking. It was really cool. Um, so just some way to quantify the difference between your experimental variables. Um, and then remember to draw any valid conclusions. You're gonna need at least three trials. In the case of the pancake one, like at least three pancakes per experimental variable um, to be able to draw any kind of conclusion, right? Uh, and then this website, if you're like, what is science, huh, variables, this website is really awesome um, for just kind of walking you through each step of that scientific process uh, and giving you some examples. So uh, you're going to take a picture of your experiment as you're doing it. So whatever setup, maybe use balloons, maybe use you know, different cups to put them in. But whatever you're doing, uh, make sure you take a picture sort of in the middle so you can upload it here. And then you're going to graph your results. I will have a link to how to do this. Um, uh, I make it a video tutorial on how to do a, a graph in Google Sheets. And especially, I really want you to do this um, for a lot of reasons, one of which is to visualize data, which is an important thing in the science world, but also because any job you get will be, um, well, you'll have added value if you can use a spreadsheet. Seriously, spreadsheets are gold. Okay, and I'm going to want you to label it and paste the graph here. So you're putting a picture here and you're doing your graph here and then you're going to write an explanation of what happened here. So super loosely defined. I'm not expecting you to spend five hours on a really awesome lab report or anything. I just want to like just sort of get our hands in um, and hopefully you, you do something really cool with this. Have fun.